Why is it so hard to get started sometimes? I love making things. Music, photos, videos, the occasional jar of pickled onions. If you're watching this, I'm guessing you like making things too. So, why is it sometimes so hard to get from this point to this point? I've had the idea for making this video you're watching right now for about four months. I took a whole bunch of notes on it and then put them to one side. So what was stopping me? Basically, fear and doubt. There's the fear of committing to something before you even know what it is. The fear of failure. The fear of the judgement of others. Friends? Peers? Randos on the internet? And the big questions. Are you ready? Do you have what you need to start? Why are you doing this? What are your actual motivations for starting this project? Why are you doing this? Are you the right person to make this idea into a reality? Why are you doing this? How do you know you're doing the right thing? So I figured now might be a pretty good time to ask a friend for some advice. This is Tim Carr. He's a musician and music educator here in London, and is a founding member of a substantial number of awesome things. To name a few, the bands of Don Kipper, Berangela, Super Tenants, Captain Yoshka and the Running Bolands, the storytelling group The Embers Collective, and the online workshop series We Music. He is also a lovely human being. I was curious to know how he dealt with the initial stages of a new project. I don't... I don't aim very high. <laughs> how do you mean? I don't have like uh, super high expectations of of what something is going to be. My main project at the moment is Wii Music. It very just naturally developed. I didn't have like big plans for it. I, I have some ideas of big plans for the future, but yeah, doing all of that, it's a commitment and it is scary. Like when something's just kind of a vague idea, it doesn't ask anything of you. There's no risk there. Like, if I make the decision, okay, I'm going to do this thing now, then I'm committing energy that could be spent on other things. There's a, like an opportunity cost. If I commit this energy to it and it ends up becoming painful to me and toxic, I guess it's it's scary to put yourself in, in the way of that potential risk. But what's the alternative? I suppose the alternative is never getting the chance to experience the stuff that, that, that making that thing would bring you. If it's an utter failure and you end up hating it, you've learned a load about yourself. You know, everything ends. Every single thing ends. Whether you decide for it to end or not, it's going to end. You, you learn from, from those things. You learn what you like, you learn what you don't like. Um, but I think sta staying in this limbo of like, I could do that if I wanted to, doesn't get you anywhere. Doesn't, what's the point? I mean, what's the point in no, living? Man. We're talking about that basically now, isn't it? What's the point in living? <laughs> Which is, I guess, to do stuff that is fun. Yeah, I suppose like when, when we're tiny children, we don't have like that fear of, oh God, what if I screw this up? Like, when have you ever told a baby that they're, they're rubbish, you know? <laughs> It just doesn't happen. Why do we? Yeah. Why do we treat? Yeah, such a good point you made. Like, why do we treat ourselves different to how we treat even your friends? You would never say that to your friend. Don't do that. You fail. Yeah, you, we put so much pressure on ourselves. We don't need to. You know, being a music teacher, you see this all the time. The thing that's holding them back is not their musicality. It's their self-criticism, self-deprecation. I think the, the fear of judgment when starting something new, I think that's that can be a very powerful thing. It, like imagined criticism from, from people. Like sometimes it, I, I sort of think, well, what would this, this person in my life think? How do you get past that fear of mm. the disapproval of people you respect? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. I have like three or four of those people in my head who are judging me constantly. I think coming at it from a self-worth, knowing, because you might believe that this particular thing they are an expert on and they're gonna bust your balls if you get it wrong, if they see it. But also they're a human as well and they're gonna be feeling exactly the same thing. And they're probably a bully. It's usually bullies who make you feel like that. And yeah, like you said, sometimes they can make you 
work harder at something like ah if that person heard this well they'd tell me that this thing was wrong so i'll fix it you know i won't be lazy i'll do it but yeah sometimes they're super damaging there's there's certain teachers that i've met and had that all of their students are are nervous wrecks it's a short-term gain that you get from that kind of motivation from fear motivating someone to love something then they're going to chase it for as long as they can I guess there's always that fear starting something new, like, am I ready to start this? Nobody knows what they're doing. And if they tell you they know what they're doing, they're lying. Listen, a a, a doctor, okay, I I kind of think, you know, they, putting your life in their hands, that they know what they're doing. To a certain degree, spaceships blow up, you know? Even the smartest people on Earth get it wrong, because no one knows exactly what they're doing. I guess you have to attempt to have as much conviction in what you're doing and integrity in what you're doing and what you believe is the right thing to do and don't change that for anyone otherwise you're just going to end up doing someone else's project how important do you think it is to know when you start why you're doing it like what what you're hoping to change in the world around you is that something that you think about when you're starting out i think it's i feel like doing this at the moment and i'm going to do it Mm. I'm not again. Again, it's about expectations, and I, I don't. Maybe I'm fortunate that I don't have super high expectations of the things that I do. I just do them because I enjoy them in the moment. And if they have legs, then I I will continue to do them. And if they don't have legs, I'll go. All right, or whatever. I don't care. If I think about Wii Music, it was started from a selfish point of view. Uh, I wanted to get better at music, so I messaged all my friends and was like, oh, let's meet up online and teach each other stuff. And then it just turned out I just started teaching everybody. Um, I don't know how that happened, I don't know why that happened, but it happened. Um, And then I got an injury and I couldn't play for a bit. So I got friends to cover my sessions, because there was like 15, 20 people coming every day. Um, So I got friends to cover and then it is where it is now, which is uh, low, different teachers every day, basically, doing like month-long series work, series of workshops or whatever, really. I think a very common emotional response to life in general is feeling like you're a fraud. Feeling like... Yep. Feeling like you don't know what the f*** you're talking about and everyone's going to find out and everyone's going to judge you and you're going to die. However, we're not frauds, obviously. Not every, but everybody thinks this. I'm pretty sure at some point in their life, everybody has thought I'm in too deep here or they're all going to find out that I don't know what I'm talking about. Someone's offered me a job doing something. And rather than going, yeah, I'll go, I know someone who could do that better because I'm so scared about not doing it justice or doing it wrong or doing you know not knowing some really basic thing that everybody else knows that i've said no because i'm too scared yeah i'm I'm telling you all this i don't always live by this it's something that i'm learning we have to be proud of who we are and we have to have integrity for what we believe my my big things would be like no one is going to give you permission to do something most people are frauds or sorry most people believe they're frauds anyway and if you don't try it you won't learn anything the morning after talking to tim i was scrolling through social media when i came across a post from a friend of mine he'd always wanted to get into voice acting but had always been too afraid to try or even to admit that it was his own self-criticism holding him back i scrolled down to the comments and it was chock full of people offering support and love and guidance that's what was waiting for him on the other side of that first step With all that in mind, let's take a look back at the circle of no and see if we can make some changes. It's harder in the long run not to do the things that make you happy, and the best projects are the ones that grow organically. An ending isn't a failure, and everything you try can teach you something new. The people who matter to you are more supportive than you realise. You don't need everything in place to get started. The things you learn along the way are going to take you to places you never could have reached from your starting point. You're doing this because you want to, and that's enough. Anything else you'll learn along the way. You're the one doing this because you're the one who cares about it. The world's going to be richer with your creation in it. 
You'll stay on track so long as you keep focused on your core intention, the thing that makes you excited about what you're making. Every step of making this video, I've been finding my feet as I go. I don't know where I'm going to end up, but with every step I take, I find my way to the next one. It's okay for the first step to be scary, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't take it. Far better to take that chance and learn something new about yourself, rather than waiting forever for some perfect moment. The second step will be easier, and so will the one after that. There's always someone you can ask for help. So that's it. This is the end of the video. I've taken my first step, and now it's time for the next one. And if you'd like to join me, just hit the subscribe button. I'll see you soon. Come back here. Come back here. Most beautiful leaf fall happening right now.